number 88 Harding Group Chevrolet for Harding Racing back in a car for the Honda in Toronto this weekend. Connor, first of all, just how excited are you to, to join Harding Racing for this event and get back in an engine car? Hello. Uh, very excited. Uh, driving around tracks is better than sitting around them. Um, really enjoy that a lot. Uh, the team's given me a great opportunity here. Obviously, I think there's um, you know, a lot to be learned at this track uh, when it comes to the uh, technical side. It's a very bumpy, wild place, um, and I think you know I'm trying to do the best I can to you know have some, put some building blocks in place for the race on Sunday, and then just uh, and see what happens. I think it's very much a fact-finding mission for us both, and uh, you know I'm very thankful to just be here in general. When we received the news about you entering this weekend's race, it was poised in a very, in a very flattering way towards you, and wanting the, the team wanting you to bring in information to the team to help them grow and develop as they navigate their first full season in the race mini car series. What do you respond with when when somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, Connor, you know, we feel like you're somebody that could help us out." I mean, it's really cool. I mean, I, I appreciate that. I mean, as a, as a one-car team, I mean, they're the only one-car team, and it's, it's really hard. This is a really competitive series that we have here, and, uh, you know, most teams have at least two cars, and it's it's a double the information, um, double the amount of setup changes you can make to try and find the, uh, the appropriate balance. So uh, this series is so competitive, everyone's so close that, that you almost need that, and I think uh, you know, for to have me in and to have sort of my, uh, you know, I guess my technical knowledge, you know, I've, I've dealt with situations last year where, you know, we had a lot of new people and a lot of new stuff, uh, and a whole new era kit to deal with uh, all in one year. Um, so I'm sort of used to this situation of really needing to find uh, sort of the next level of, of, uh, of, of setup and, and things that we need to do to improve and, and you know, to make the car better overall. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do the best I can in that situation. And, we were all being realistic about you know, this situation, and uh, I think we're going to try and have some fun with it and, uh, and enjoy the weekend, and hopefully it turns out with a good race, too. You've already been out for a practice session earlier today, about to head into your second one. What are some of the things that you're noticing, not only about the track, but about the team and how it operates and the people behind it? Well, I mean, obviously the car is very different immediately. I mean, so much less downforce than last year, um, but it's fun. I think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a fun car to drive. I think the, the brakes for me are a lot actually better this year than, than what I had last year, so uh, that was really nice to, to get a feel for, but 45 minutes is not a lot. I mean, we did like 14 laps, and, uh, and it happened really fast, so uh, definitely some differences. Uh, definitely, um, you know, I, I, I really like the fact that the team is open to, you know, doing a wide variety of setup changes immediately. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we made a lot of different changes already um, in the first session, which is what we are trying to do, is, is find, a, you know, find a good direction uh, for the balance, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Questions for Connor, and we do have a microphone in the back of the room. Yes, Patrick. Touched a little bit, but a little more. Talk about the new team getting situated, how they do things. Take me through that process of trying to fit yourself into the this new scheme. And they brought you in here to add to, not just keep it even. Well, I mean, I've been in these situations before. I've, I've jumped into multiple different cars uh, last minute, um, and and I'm used to you know getting getting in these things pretty quickly. Uh, but for me. I've known a lot of these guys since I was an infant. Uh, I've been in this pack for a very long time, so uh, you know I'm, I'm very familiar with a lot of the guys, and it's uh, you know it's a great group of people. I think they they have. Um, I really like the outlook on what we're trying to do here. I think it's very uh, very reasonable. I think it's very. Uh, I I like the place that we're in because I think everyone's just trying to enjoy the weekend and, and accept everything that you know we're gonna throw at the crew, whether it's a lot of setup changes, whether it's a lot of. Um, you know, different things we can do with the gears and things we can do with the car to just try and make it go as fast as it can possibly go. That's, that's in the end what we all want to have happen. Norris and then Bruce. Uh, Connor, uh, Joseph Newgarden came up uh, back when he was just starting out racing and did some racing at Home Sport. You yourself with uh, Brian Graham for a season, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Hipscliff, we got Wickens. What is it about racing in Ontario that uh, uh, gives you guys uh, maybe some sophistication to go on to uh, big time racing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I spent most of 2008 here, uh, the Ontario Formula Four Championship. It was a great time in my life. Um, you know, we 
uh, got a lot of wins up there at Mosport. It was a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, raced in Calabogie, raced in Montreal, raced all over the place. Um, great time, and I think I learned a lot about um, really why I'm here, the technical side of racing. You know, I was racing in the Skip Barber National Championship, and then also racing in the Formula Four Championship to try and build the technical knowledge and feel, figure out feedback. How do I deliver things to my engineer? Um, and I think that's paid off for sure uh, in the long run. Uh, and so I. I, I love coming to Canada. I love coming, uh, coming here all the time. A lot of great people here. A lot of obviously incredible fans of the sport in general. So uh, and some great Canadian racing drivers like uh, like Hinch and Wiggins there, and, and, uh, and they're obviously nice people as well. Nice. Well, we're, we are nice people. There you go. Yeah, very nice people. Bruce. Connor, it used to be that if you were called into a meeting with Brian Barner as a driver, being uh, <laughs> Is that dynamic working out for you? I like Brian. His, his voice on the radio is really, it's really uh, assuring. I think he's very, uh, very stern in the way he talks. But I know that uh, he's got a lot of passion for this sport. We all, we've all seen that. Um, and it's great. It's a great group to work with. I think all the guys are uh, are good leaders. I think there's some really, uh, really strong leaders on the on, on the pit box there. Uh, and even having Al Jr. Uh, there as well. Uh, I think that's uh, that's really, really cool to have that as part of the team dynamic, without a doubt. Yes, sir. Eric. A lot of fans around here remember your dad being here. Uh, yeah. There's, so there's a lot of daily heritage around this, and I think you're aware of that. Yeah, I mean, dad's been here before. He's uh, had a lot of people ask if he's going to be here, but I think all my family's not really going to be able to be here because uh, we didn't really know until Tuesday whether I was going to drive. So uh, that's. That's kind of cool, but they're all obviously paying attention, texting me all the time, seeing what's going on. And um, yeah, Dad, uh, Dad's had a lot of a lot of runs around here himself. Other questions for Connor? Yes, Aaron. What uh, sort of progress has the team made through the first half of the year that you're kind of glad they did with the car that helped get you up to speed this morning? What was it? What was the first part of that? What sort of progress has have they made, like setup wise? They're pretty confident in the year. I mean, I think every weekend they're learning, right? I mean, we don't have data to look at from last year, right? So, like, how do we, you know what are we looking at before the session? Not a lot. We're just like, hey, I think this is where we're going to start. This is what we've got information-wise, and I'm like, absolutely, sounds like a great idea. And uh, you know, obviously, from the first session, we immediately learn, um, you know, all right, this is what we didn't like. This is what we did like. We improved our lap time every single run, uh, and we didn't have another new set of tires to use. And still, the last lap was our fastest lap. So. Uh, that's that's really realistically how you want it to go, um, and now we have you know another new set of blacks to run, a new set of reds as well in, in session two. So very excited to see what that has for us. You know, it's just it's just step by step progress, and the fact that we were even you know faster than some people, I think that's uh, that's that's pretty uh, pretty good for us. I think so far, I mean, to come in and having not driven an IndyCar on a road course since September of last year uh, is uh, is pretty cool. Any other questions for Connor? Mary and then Bruce. Connor, um, how difficult is it to come into a track like this that's not very forgiving? I mean, would you have preferred it to be uh, maybe someplace like Road America? And uh, do you know if you'll be doing any other races between now and the season for the team? Um, well, to answer the second part of that first, uh, we're just starting with this week. Don't, don't know what else is gonna happen in the future, but uh, I'm used to that, gonna use every session as best I possibly can. But the first part of that question, I think it's actually way better to come to a track like this than, than Road America, or the, the forgiveness level really never comes into your head because either way you can make a mistake at any racetrack, right? But uh, but Toronto and street courses in general, you know, that's that's my bread and butter, I love that stuff. You know, we've been on the podium on street courses before, we've been, been in the fast six here before, so there's, there's a lot of good things that have happened on street courses. Um, and no one's tested here, so obviously that's uh, somewhat better <laughs> to, to, to be on that sort of playing field. Um, and, and I like this place a lot, so uh, the, they've done a great job with the paving here. I think turn one now, the break zone is fantastic. Uh, you're no longer, you know, your face is bouncing off the steering wheel <laughs> as you break for that corner, so I think that's really awesome. Um, and so yeah, I'm, 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 a lot happy, I'm a lot happier with the changes that have been made to the track, for sure. Bruce. How resilient have you had to be over these last couple of years? Because I'm sure that every time another driver gets hired by another team, you've got to think to yourself, well, I know I can do better than him. 
I, I mean, I don't know about that. I think there's uh, higher, there's a lot of asterisks around that word these days. Um, but, but for me, I mean, I, I know what I can do. I know there's a lot of people that um, still do have faith in me. I think there's a lot of people in these uh, in these teams that have you know seen what I can do, seen what I have done in certain situations. Um, you know, we've had a rocky road for sure over the last four years. Um, but I do feel like I have delivered at the level that um, is needed to compete in the IndyCar Series, and I've been super thankful to have these chances to do that. I think there's an incredible group of people at this Harding Racing team that have seen. Um, you know, enough to at least give me the opportunity here, and I, I'm super thankful for that. You know, I'm just going to keep doing what I can do, keep trying to learn every every time I get out on the racetrack, and um, if I can get more chances to race, I'm going to continue to do uh, everything I can do to to have a job more often. Any last questions for Connor before we let him go get ready for practice? Connor, thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that.